Hi guys, it's Janine. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, and I just want to do a quick recap of what Vegas was to me. I've never been to Vegas before, so this was my first meet and greet in Vegas, and I had a really good time. Vegas in general, meaning the place, the actual city, is hyped up bullshit. <laughs> I couldn't care less about the lights. I couldn't care less about the fake gondolas. I couldn't care less about the short Eiffel Tower. I don't care about the big poster of Donnie and Marie. Take it someplace else. But... The girls I was with made it spectacular. That's what made it spectacular. The people I was with, okay? It was the event. That's what was great. You could have stuck me in Idaho with these people and I would have had an amazing time. So what was Vegas to me? I learned a lot. I learned a lot. It was a learning experience for me. I was with such old spirited people. You know, Mila, I got to meet Mila for the first time, and God, I love her. Um, she has so much wisdom for her age. She's amazing. Um, she's just amazing. And the things that come out of her mouth, it's like, how do you know these things? Um, she's just incredible. I was listening to someone talk to her, and... They said they were, they were crying when they were speaking to Mila. And they said, every time I pray for strength, God makes my life harder. And Mila said, you have to pray for happiness. That clicked in my head because I've been making the same mistake. My life gets hard and I pray for strength and my life just gets harder. And that's the mistake I'm making. I'm praying for, I'm praying for more strength and God is saying, oh, you want stronger weights. You want bigger muscles. Let me bump up your, let, let me bump up the weight on your kettlebell. You know what I mean? I gotta start praying for happiness. I'm praying for the wrong things. And Mila knew that right away. So just the wisdom that came from these women, it's just amazing. I learned that my anxiety, I'm not alone. Um, Others struggle with this as bad as I do. There were ladies there popping bottles of Xanax, Ativan. I mean, I had Klonopin. We were all just, you know, it, it was, it, it was, we were comparing. We all had the same problems. I wasn't alone. I was normal. I was a normal person. I wasn't some freak show. And that made me feel so good to know that I wasn't a freak show. I learned we're at the end it's Sunday morning, and we're in the Pacific Ballroom. 
and I'm hugging Mama Rose. Goodbye. And I want to share this 100% with you. When I had weight loss surgery, I was miserable. Mentally and physically, I was miserable, okay? And the progress that I had made from the start of my weight loss surgery to now, mentally and physically, has been very different, okay? When I had weight loss surgery, I didn't know that. I mean, I knew it would be a little different. I didn't think they'd be 100% at the same speed. But I thought they'd be, you know, about the same speed. So I'm hugging Mama Rose, and I'm bawling. She's got me bawling. And I've got her long black hair in my face, and I'm bawling, and I'm getting her hair wet, and... I've got people staring at me, and Maggie Price is trying to get a hug in, and I'm making Maggie late, and but I'm still squishing Mama Rose, because Mama Rose is talking to me, and I felt bad, but I'm sorry, Maggie, I was hugging. And uh, the mistake that I made was thinking that I would make physical progress change my brain into loving myself and appreciating myself. So I thought that losing weight was going to make me love myself and appreciate myself. I thought that changing my body was going to make me love and appreciate myself. No. No, not at all. Mm -mm. And that was such an enormous mistake. I realized what a massive mistake that was when I was hugging Mama Rose. Because I realized how wrong I was the whole time because she was talking to me about how much progress I had made so far and then she was talking to me about how I have to be happy. I've got to be mentally happy. I've got to work on being mentally happy. How I've made so much progress physically and I've got to start working on being mentally progressive with being happy. I've got to work on it. And it clicked in my head what a massive mistake I had made. And I just started bawling on her shoulder. So thank you, Mama Rose, um, because, you know, you're always going to be, you're always going to be my mommy. Always. Um, I hung out, like I said, with an amazing group of girls. Um, the group of girls was enormous, too many to mention, too many to mention, um, but I do want to mention a few that I really huddled with, um, because I love, adore them, and they have moved from the category of friend to literally family. Um, Pam, Sherry, Jen, Kim, Kim is a fucking rip, Bobby, Candace, Candace is brand spanky new, um, Candace we kind of like adopted, uh, she is just gorgeous, I was, I was blocking boys off her in a dance club, she is hilarious. Jen Lane, uh, Charisse, Leanne, and her beautiful 
handsome, sweet, piece of ass husband. Loretta. Um, Maggie, of course, Maggie. Mila's whole group of girls that we got to rock with a couple times. Um, and Lisa, Banded Ladybug, showed up last minute. And Lisa, Banded Ladybug, showed up. She showed up in Jen's room. I didn't even say hello to Lisa. I just looked at her and said, what the fuck are you doing here? So I thought that was pretty funny. Not even hello, how to me. Not even a how you doing. Not even a how was your flight. Just a what the fuck are you doing here? So that was nice and weird of me. But, um, yeah. So I had a really good time in Vegas. There was definitely a lot of people I didn't get to spend more time with. Um, VSG Tanya, I didn't get to spend more time with. Tracy, I didn't get to spend more time with, which I really wanted to. Um, there's a lot of people I didn't get to spend more time with that I was <sighs> kind of pissed off about. A um, couple people I didn't even see. Um, yeah. Eh. So it's next year. So that's that was my that was my recap on Vegas, and um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I had an amazing time. I have the most amazing friends in this community. I am beyond blessed. I am beyond blessed, and I love you so much so much so I hope you guys had for those of you who went I hope you guys had an amazing time as much of an amazing time as I did and I hope you're thinking about going on the cruise next year I'm thinking about it um, I haven't decided yes or no yet but I'm thinking about it um, it's just a lot of time to devote to a conference, but it's just with this group of girls, pretty tempting. So, I'm thinking about it. I love you, and I'll probably make a video over the weekend, so talk to you later, guys. Bye.